The Honorable Minister for Local Government and Rural Development. Let me thank you, Madam, for the opportunity to debate the presidential speech that um, His Excellency the President, um, President Hakain the Hichilema, delivered on the 10th of, uh, of this month. Um, from my ministry, I would like to begin by congratulating her honor, the Vice President, yourself, Madam, and your presiding officers for the positions that you've taken. I want to congratulate my fellow colleagues, members of Parliament, those who have come for the first time and those who are coming for the second, third, or even fourth time, like myself. Madam, in his statement, the President, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Ms. Hakainde Chilema, raised his speech under the theme, Creating a United, Prosperous, and Equitable Zambia, Restoring Economic Growth, and Safeguarding Lives. Very loaded statement, I must say, and it covers, in my view, all areas of human endeavor. This theme, Madam Speaker, does resonate a lot with the mandate of my ministry, the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, which is charged with the responsibility of promoting decentralization, local governance system, facilitating for a quality municipal service delivery in order to contribute to sustainable social economic development. Further, Madam Speaker, the Republican president did realign some ministries including the Ministry of Local Government, to the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, and most recently, he moved the Department of Chiefs Affairs to my ministry. Madam, this ministry has a mandate to foster rural development in addition to its other equally important key functions this will improve the quality of life and economic well-being of our citizens living in rural areas. Indeed, development must be equitable and participatory. We will therefore enhance our collaboration with the stakeholders, including our people in the local, local level, as well as the traditional leadership, in order to attain the meaningful development that the president spoke about to enhance provision of social services, both in rural and urban areas and settings. My ministry facilitates the provision of municipal infrastructure services, which include rehabilitation and maintenance of township roads, feeder roads, solid waste management, markets and bus stations, as well as provision of fire and rescue services, Madam Speaker. Madam, under township roads, the rehabilitation and maintenance of township roads, feeder roads, is one of the key strategies that my ministry leverages upon to facilitate social economic development and improve standards of living of our people. My ministry undertakes this through the local authority, which are also local road authorities. The local road authorities supervise the projects being undertaken in their respective jurisdictions. Madam, we are working to enhance local contractor participation in all road projects to create employment and growth of the local economy. Currently, my ministry has procured 22 performance-based contracts valued at 120 million kwacha for the period 2020 to 2023, covering approximately 1,000 kilometers in Lusaka. This will be extended to all other districts across the country. Madam Speaker, the feeder road network is in the country's approximately 14,333 kilometers, 82 percent of which is deplorable, very deplorable. My ministry will therefore enhance programs such as the National Feeder Road Program in, the, in order to improve accessibility, mobility, and connectivity to the agricultural sites, social and economic facilities in the rural areas. We will ensure that adequate participation of local contractors on feeder roads projects under my ministry 
as a deliberate policy to empower Zambian contractors and contribute to growth of the local economies. Currently, Madam Speaker, a total number of 166 contracts have been procured under 6,390 kilometer valued all at 8.71 billion kwacha. This brings the cumulative total number of ongoing contracts to 211 contracts covering 8,650 kilometers in various districts across the country with total contract value of 11.6 billion kwacha. In line with the new Dawn administration's vision of facilitating equi equitable development, my ministry will ensure the rehabilitation of feeder roads in all districts along the country, uh, uh, in the country, away from what used to happen before. To enhance these efforts, we are working to improve the capacity of local authorities to effectively supervise and manage roads projects. Under the Improved Rural Connectivity Program, Madam Speaker, capacity building of local authorities is underway at a total cost of 200, 200 million US dollars facilitated by the World Bank, markets and bus stations. Madam, our focus is to restore markets and bus stations as facilities that will provide adequate services and provide a platform for trading and transportation for our citizens. Madam, in this regard, my ministry will institutionalize the National Market and Bus Station Development Fund for enhanced management and infrastructure development in the facilities. Management of committees will be created to run affairs of the markets and bus stations in line with the Markets and Bus Station Act number 7 of 2007. This is the act that was put by our colleagues on the shelf and who started gathering dust, thereby bearing the undesirable uh, 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 people, citizens, now commonly referred to as political cadres. They took away the authority of this act with impunity, started injecting fear in citizens, commuters, traders, as we saw shortly before the 2016 election at intercity bus station everybody who came to commute at that nerve center into the country and was wearing anything red was brutalized mercilessly by pf cadres at the watch of a government madam further works are on course to upscale cashless revenue collection systems to reduce corruption of course with the initiative to place governments, expects that revenue collection will be tremendously improved and will be able to, strip, to be streamlined. I'm thank pleased to you. inform Your you. Your time is up. My time is up. I thank you for the opportunity, Madam. Thank you. Honorable Member for Bahati. <laughs> 